This channel has got millions of views with data comparisons videos. In fact, they say they have spent $100K on research, earning up to $21K per month and up to $250K yearly is such a great side hustle. And this is what this channel has generated with the most viewed video. Crazy! In today's video, I will show how to create data comparison videos with the help of AI tools such as Canva and ChatGPT. So subscribe and let's dive in. First of all, you want to go to Canva and choose Custom Size option above. Then the width will be 5,000 and the height will be 1,000. Okay, now we have a white rectangle. The first thing of all is to change the background color to black. Now, pressing R. Let's start making different shapes. The first will be a rectangle, which we will place in the lower left corner. This will have a height of 450 and a width of 492 pixels. Use this color approximately. Now, by pressing R again, we are going to create another smaller rectangle that we will place on top of the previous one. This new rectangle will have a color similar to white. Now we are going to create a last rectangle, which we will place on top of the previous ones. This last rectangle will be almost black in color. You will see it is not like the background. There is a small difference that improves the design. Okay, now we have all the necessary rectangles. This is already taking shape. Now we are going to create a red hexagon that we will place on the last rectangle. Go to color and choose red, which I think it matches very well with the design. However, if you don't like this color, or even if you want to be original, then choose another color such as green or blue. The size has to cover almost the entire rectangle. Now let's write the text for the template. I have chosen Intro Rust and Intro Pro fonts because they matches very well. However, you can find some pretty fonts that are free. I am writing the text we will place on the red hexagon. As this is just a tutorial, I will encourage you to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I will be very happy then. As you can see, I have already added some effect to the text. It is just a black shadow, but I think it is great. So do the same if you want. And I put the black again. Now we will add another heading using the intro pro font and choosing the black color. Here is where you will add your short title between one and three words, describing the scenario you are showing. All right. Now you will copy-paste the last text field and add a longer description between 10 and 20 words of the topic you are explaining. And white color is perfect for this. As you can see, this is very attractive, but we need a picture. I recommend to use icons or graphics photos without background. You will find a lot of them in Canva. Okay, now we have to copy these elements 10 times in the background, but we have to take into account a 9-pixel separation between element and element, so we are going to use a 9-pixel rectangle to create that separation. Now we will place this rectangle next to the elements, and we will begin to copy and paste until the entire page is filled. Many will wonder what would happen if we did not use separation between element and element. Well, the design would not be the same, and in the end we would be left with an empty black space. You can now delete this 9 pixel wide rectangle because I assure you that Kamba will automatically provide you with a separation of 9 pixels between element and element. As you can see, it is doing it this way. We will be able to place all our elements in just seconds using Control c and Control v to copy and paste. All right. In this video, I am showing you the design, but I would also like to teach you how to find ideas to put in this type of videos. So I started to use artificial intelligence tools like ChatGPT to find possible scripts for these videos. So ChatGPT understood Avery well what I wanted, and I was able to get a script to fill out this template. To do this, I asked GPT Chat to create 10 possible scenarios of possible causes of insecurities in humans using this prompt, which by the way, I will leave in the description. Chat GPT took longer than usual, but I finally got a script right away to fill out this entire template. Body weight, social status, aging, career success, intelligence or relationship trust are some of the results. 
Apparently it seemed correct, so I started to fill out the first box of my template. However, I didn't waste much more time filling out the entire template since this is a tutorial and you have to do that work. Now we are almost ready to go to CupCat, a free video editing software, but first, don't forget to download this image in PNG file at a decent quality. Once in CapCut, we will import our image and drag it down to create the video. Now, we could lengthen our image so that our video lasts longer. But first of all, I recommend changing the scale to 280% and change to 16-9 ratio. This will make our image fit perfectly in the YouTube format. Now, we can change the duration of the image, and after doing several tests, I can tell you that 30 seconds is a very good duration for the video, since it is neither too fast nor too slow, perfect for data comparisons. Okay, now we are going to add the key frames, which is a tool that allows us to move the position of the image over time. Then we will place a key frame at the beginning and another key frame at the end of the image. So, when you have placed the image in the beginning position, press this diamond. Now move the entire image to the final position and press the diamond again to set the key frame. There is really no need to press the diamond again since it has automatically detected that it will move from the beginning to the end of the image. Therefore, we are now ready to see the final result of our design. I know that it does not have scenarios created within it, but simply so that you can see the speed at which the video is going. You can also make several images of 10 elements and put them all together in the same video so that the video is longer, but that depends on your tastes. I think the result is very professional, and it is also 100% free and easy to create, so I would be happy if you left me a like and subscribe to my channel. You could also comment on what type of videos you would like to see on the channel soon. Finally, I would like to give you one last piece of advice so that your video is better. Use 60 FPS to give the highest quality to your video and if you can also use 4K, although this is not so necessary. And remember, the more engaging and attractive your videos are, the more audience you will get.